dishes. My husband and I went a little bit out of town for something, and I got to do some thrifting. He didn't really want to do that, but I knew you would want to. So I did a little bit of video. We went to some charity shops. I have a tiny little haul, literally, to show you at the end. And a few other things that I'm not gonna show you, you'll have to wait to see in my Thriftoween collaboration. You can visit my community tab to learn more about that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. These are made in Greece. These. Here. See these? Huh? Look at these jugs. Oh, yeah. Like German? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's got like the German. Angle. Yeah, it says like Frankfurt. <coughs> This one? No, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I was still here, and then the power went out, and it was like zoop. And I did not realize how dark it is in here when the power goes out. Oh my gosh. Where's the flashlight? And I literally couldn't find it. Now that's on my list of things to do is get flashlights for all the corners. Well, the reason I bring it up is uh -huh. because we were in line. My sweetheart Catherine, who just called because she's working. Yeah. Um, I came back to bring this stuff up because everything had to be shut down. Right. So cute. And, but in the car are two tubes that she got in different colors. Of birds, just like oh, that. Oh, how fun! It's cast iron. Cute. Back over here. It's pretty. Cute. 
this was Hope Thrift, and the last couple times I went Poor here, guy. the shelves were full of holiday, Halloween, Christmas, all the time. There was nothing here. I did buy one thing here, but you will not see it until I do my Halloween collaboration with Carol from My Blessed Nest. Go to my community tab so you can participate with us. But we're just going to move on from here. This place is called Unicorn Thrift. Isn't that cute? That's a nautic set. Aww. Got my friend's name on it. So cute. Salt and pepper. This white. This white. Cute. This looks like a made in Japan. right here oh my gosh it's only $25 can you hold it open it's sweet oh my gosh sweet. look at the pants oh, that is cool. oh my god that is great it's like a napoleon scene right here what size is it 40 probably 50 oh my gosh that's amazing don't you want that for halloween i know i was thinking about that are they wool or polyester? I think they're both from I mean, they're for, I think they're both. Pant and jacket. That is amazing. Wow, I love that. Look at the lining. Take the, yeah, try it on. Yeah, Those are big. too big, yeah. I love that. You could ride them really high like that. You could put them up high and then stuff it like a clown. Ugh. Yeah. 
trip got cut a little short so your trip's getting cut a little short that's okay this place is close enough that we can come back again just just me and you just me and you without the husband um all right well let's go back to my house and i'll show you the little things i got well, wasn't that fun unfortunately we had to cut our trip a little bit short and I didn't buy very many things, but I'm gonna show you what I bought. I'm, I have a little project I'm working on. I'll tell you more about it at the end of the video, but let's just get right to it. So that first shop was so much fun. That was the Discovery Shop, and their prices are a little bit high. It is for cancer charity. The woman working there told me that a woman had donated her whole collection of dolls and miniatures. That is what I bought. I bought some little miniatures and I feel like I bought something else and I can't remember what it was, but that's just the way it is with me. So I bought everything was in, you saw there were all these little packets of miniatures. This one was $3 and it's just little books. Of course, somebody just started mowing the lawn. Well, they're not in order, but you get the idea. So in that packet, there were 10 little books for your dollhouse. Whoops. And there was also this packet for $2 of magazines. Let's look at them. I won't try to organize them. We'll just look at them one at a time because these all have little things, little things on them. I'm not completely sure, but I think that says Nutshell Noel. This says The Miniature Magazine. This was cute. This says The Pie and the Patty Pan by Beatrix Potter. And this actually has the little story inside. Isn't that cute? The pie and the patty pan. I can't say I remember that story and I read all the Beatrix Potter books or so I thought. <clears throat> Creative crafts. Nope, you're on your own for that one. It says miniature collector. Painted Ladies, which of course are the Victorian houses, what they're called um, in San Francisco. Nope. This one also says Miniature Collector. Miniatures, Seasons Greetings. Nutshell News, that's kind of cute. 
And then I loved that it had this little bag and it says 1110 Brace Avenue, San Francisco. And it lists a phone number there. So it's like a little shopping bag. Isn't that adorable? And then this was like a little box for a Dremel. So you would cut it out and fold it up so that it looks like the box. And then I don't know what, oh, this is like a little teeny tiny table, a little miniature, miniature table. So that bag was $3. And this bag was a dollar. Here's another San Francisco shopping bag. This is a little parcel. It says first class. It has some stamps on it. Don't open until December 25th is what it says. It says fragile. I thought that was cute. And then this is a little shopping bag with some wood in it. I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. This is some ribbon, which probably can be used for book binding or anything really. Um, I did get the little handkerchief for my friend Carol, but I wanna sh tell you about my little project. It's going to be a little weird because um, the room is small and I don't have a lot of room to maneuver. So this is just a little cabinet. It's kind of like a bookshelf size cabinet that I have had for ages. This opens up down here. I'm just using it to store some things. And we've used it for storage and different things over the years. I cannot even remember if we bought it painted this color or we painted it ourselves this color. I have a feeling that we did it ourselves. I think it's just one of those kind of 70s, 1970s cabinets that sat on top of something else, like a buffet or a shelf or something. Um, and we were going to get rid of it and it was sitting outside. My husband was actually gonna take it to the tip because we couldn't get rid of it. And I thought it just occurred to me that I can make it into a dollhouse. And then of course I got really excited. I got really excited. So this is kind of my new project. It's not something I'm, you know, that's gonna be done in a certain amount of time. It's just gonna be something that I'm doing little by little, but I thought it would be a place I could keep my dolls and play with them and do some animation. And that's one of the reasons I bought some of these little things. Of course, I don't have anywhere to put them at the time, at this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just like these little vignettes and I don't really have any, any dollhouse things or furniture or even the scale of dolls that need to go with it. But I don't care about any of that. It's not gonna be, uh, it's going to be dot style, you know? It's just going to be a little of this, a little of that. I'm just going to put in it things that I like. I'm not going to care so much about scale and period and things like that. Anyway, thank you so much for <laughs> going shopping with me out of town. Sorry I didn't have too, many, too much of a haul to show you. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Ta!